Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll show you how you can turn your own handwriting into a font. I'll be sharing two different types of methods I like to use, together with some tips and tricks along the way. So you may have noticed already that this is a tutorial for iPad, but for the first method you can also follow along with pen and paper. For the first method I'll be using Calligrapher.com. It's a web-based program that allows you to create your own fonts. So they have a free and a paid version available, and the free version has some limitations. I'll be using the paid version for this tutorial, so please keep that in mind. So first we want to download a template from the site. Then you want to export the template to any drawing app on your iPad. I'm using Procreate. From here you could also print the template and use a pen to draw your characters. So once the template is imported, all the different pages are on separate layers. From here you will want to write down each character on the template. I like to create a separate layer on top of the template page, so it's easy to erase and adjust mistakes. So once you're happy with the result, you will want to export it as a PNG or a PDF. So back on Calligrapher.com, you will want to go to My Font and then New Font to create a font. Then you want to give your font a name and select Save. So now we're going to upload the templates that we've just filled in. I decided to take off automatically clean templates for this font because I wanted to have a more rough and handwritten look to this font. Then scroll down to add the characters to your font. Once you select a character, you'll be able to make further adjustments. Here for example, I'm fine tuning the baseline of each character. This is important for the characters to be aligned properly to each other. And here I'm adjusting the spacing for each character. I'm working on the cursive font, so all of the characters had to be like attached to each other. By the way, here is some important vocabulary for typography. Tracking, also known as word spacing, is the space between words. And kerning, also known as letter spacing, is the space between the letters. So one thing which I think makes Calligrapher's paid version really worth it is that you can add variants to each character. This means you can have different versions of a character in your font. And this is especially nice for characters that occur very often in a sentence like vowels. Everything is finished so we can finally start building the font. It was my first time trying to turn my cursive handwriting into a font and I love how it turned out. For your first project, I do recommend working on a non-cursive font because this is a little bit more complicated. And here I'm downloading the files that we just made. So now onto the next method. For this method, I'll be using an app called iFontMaker. It does require a one-time fee of around $8 and um, there isn't a free version available, but I do think it's well worth the price. I think this interface is a little bit more straightforward compared to the one of Calligrapher. You can just switch to any character within the app and write it down. A little trick is that you can change the font of the letters that are used on the background. It's also a vector-based program, so it's a lot easier to adjust all of the characters you've made. For the special characters, you can just copy-paste the characters you've already written out. And I think this feature is great because you can save a lot of time with it. By tapping on the top bar, you can easily adjust the letter and word spacing. Tap the export button to start building the font. A pop-up will show up which you can use to review the font you just made. Tap the link to download the font onto your iPad. So 
So there are multiple ways you can use these handwritten fonts. One of the ways I like to use it is for my digital journals on GoodNotes. To install fonts onto your iPad, I like to use this app called iFont. Just import the file you just created and follow these steps as shown in the video to install the font onto your iPad. After installing, the font should immediately show up in the font section of GoodNotes. If this doesn't happen, I recommend restarting your device. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.